What's up y'all, it's your girl T and I am back with another video. And in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about um, an experience that I have went through, which I've been through several experiences, but I want to go ahead and share this experience with you guys. And hopefully this will help you um, when it comes to making your decisions for who you do business with. And um, just, I hope it opened your eyes. So. Basically, um, as we all know, we are going through Black Friday right now, or I'm recording this I'm going through Black Friday, which will be next week for me. Um, I did have a small setback. Uh, I really wanted both of my Black Friday campaigns done and set before November 1st. However, things happened and it was not able to roll out that way. So, I hired um a professional uh a woman at the time to be like a ghost um campaign writer for my uh business because as you guys know i do have stylish styles by t and stylish boss academy so um i have both and i felt like you know having to would maybe be a lot for me so let me see this woman she was advertising and offering to be like a ghost writer to create my black friday campaign basically roll out and do everything for you know my business so it would be worry free off of me i jumped on the opportunity because of course like you know, if she, she does really well, I did um look her up a little bit and I did see that she worked with some um top people. Um now I probably could have dived a little bit more into her, but you know, I didn't. I was excited and I just knew like this is exactly what I need. So I went ahead and I um purchased her service to have her create the campaigns for um black my black friday so now mind you she's not um a hair you know she's not a wig in the wig industry however you know just by listening at her or taking some of her free you know information it definitely sounded like you know something that she could do like she definitely sold it so um just let me see so you when you you know once you sign up you sign you you input you know your instagram and all of that so i input my instagram all my information in i scheduled my first call with her the first call was scheduled to be an hour and 30 minutes during the day of my first call um the call came and um first of all we literally was on the phone for 27 minutes that was it she asked me what was my business again when in the application i put what my business was um, she kind of asked, okay, what kind of ideas do you want to do for, you know, um, Black Friday? You know, I told her a little bit of what I was thinking or, and, and gave her a little background, but, um, the initial call, she kind of was supposed to have some ideas, but neither here nor there. She said, okay, schedule your next call for next week and, um, I'll dive more into your business and I will have three campaigns drawn out for you to um so that we can kind of pick based on you know your industry so cool that following week came the day of my um scheduled call um she did not answer did not call did not anything i'm calling her nothing i'm like what is going on so that was already like a red flag I ended up, um, you know, messaging her like, hey, you know, we're, we're supposed to be scheduled for this call. And I am super excited because, you know, her ideas, you know, for what she's done for her business seem to be very good. So I just knew that she had me covered. And at this point, it's getting closer to November, like not close to Black Friday, but just again, I wanted my stuff done. I don't like to wait till the last minute. So she ended up uh texting me like oh hey um you didn't get the message no i didn't get a message um let me see you how come you're not getting a text oh and come to find out she said oh well for some reason your name isn't saved under the contact so you didn't get the e the message but i sent every um ghost person who i'm working with a uh, email to uh reschedule for this day or something so i'm like oh no i did not get that but i'll go ahead and reschedule so i went in rescheduled for the soonest she had available um because i just want to get i'm ready to go like you tell me something you tell me what i need to do and i'm gonna get it done but if i gotta wait on you like i what i didn't like that but anyway 
Um, I rescheduled. So she called, I mean, that, that next time she, uh, we had a call. We were supposed to get on like, uh, a Google, uh, or whatever meet. So we get on the Google meet and she's like, okay, so, um, you know, this is what I kind of got from your business or this is what I've, you know, researched a little bit. She kind of talked about my business. She basically gave me a little bit of um, insight on things that I need to work on with my business and my target audience, which that was helpful. Um, she also said, okay, so for Black Friday, you know, of course, we want to make sure that we are uh, focusing on our target audience and, you know, not just sell, sell, sell to anyone. Some of the, those things, you know, of course I knew, but... Um, she told me, okay, so it looks like what you need to do so that we can get a campaign to Matt because she threw out a campaign idea, but it's like, mm, that don't really, my audience is not like, no, that's not, they would not connect with that. So she said, okay, well, let's see if we can get some more connections. Um, send, you know, do a story poll on your story poll at your, um, target audience ask your audience different questions make sure it's not the wig makers but ask your audience a group of, a series of questions and when you do after 24 hours email me the answers and then we will create a campaign based on their interest and their likes and things like that so of course immediately got off the call it wasn't much that we could do because her ideas were not matching and i needed the campaign to go with my specific um audience so um we got the call I drafted up my stories in my brand, sent them out. You know, I did, you know, I even, I did a um, a, a raffle and everything. So anyways, uh, a giveaway, I'm sorry. But got that information that following day, emailed her the results. I'm like, okay, so maybe we'll see what she come up and what she can do with this. You know, we got, you know, a little bit of ideas on their movies, what type of music they like, you know, different things like that. And then see if we can build a campaign based on like, you know, the maturity level they are, what era they're in, things like that. So, um, the next call that we had or that was scheduled, um, she had to, she, what did she tell me? So, at, oh, okay. So at this point she had got, you know, all my information. So this call, I was supposed to have the call, call her, text her. I'm like, Hey, the call is this time. She messaged me back. Literally, the call was probably about um, two minutes, two, well, probably 10 minutes in. Like, she was late. And I'm like, is everything okay? She's not answering. What's going on? So, she um, texts me back and is like, hey, I'm actually, I was waiting on a graphic designer to finish up your campaigns. I actually have a five campaign ideas and, um, you know, went from three to five. But I have five campaign ideas and I'm going to... Um, the, the, the graphic designer didn't get back to me or oh, something in the text. And I'm like, wait, excuse me, graphic designer. Um, we haven't even went over the campaign. So what graphics are you doing? So basically, I don't know what she was doing, but I just told her, I'm like, look, you know, this, this back and forth at this point is kind of getting shady because it's like, look, I don't paid you. And these days are going, every time I have to make a call, it's like another week. I booked you well in advance to have this done because I know that I have to have emails. I need to have text. I need to get content and stuff out. But how can I get the content if I don't know what the theme or what the, you know, what, what the campaign is going to be, you know, related around. So, um, I told her after she's like, text that I said, what, what graphic designer? Like, and she's like, oh, I'm sorry. Maybe you misunderstood. You know, just the graphics. I have my graphic designer draft up graphics for each campaign so that I can present to you. And I said, no, look, I don't need all of that. Listen, I, I, I blocked this time off specifically for to speak with you for an hour and 30 minutes so that you can lay out these ideas so that we can pick an idea and so that we can move forward with it. I am not, I cannot reschedule another week. I said, if we do not talk today, just go ahead and give me my refund. She's like, oh no, baby. Okay, so six o'clock, six Eastern Standard Time, um, we can get on the call and hopefully the graphics are have it done then. Okay, well, if he have it done or he don't have it done, if we don't talk, just give me back my money. So she, uh, six o'clock, I didn't think she was going to come through. I really didn't because she was just, it started to become too much, like, like just, she was just fluff, a lot of fluff. So six o'clock came, she actually was on the call. Um, I got on the call. 
she's like, you know, I apologize. Is there anything you need to say? And I'm just like, no, I just don't like waiting until the last minute for things. We're one week before November 1st and... You know, we I still don't have a campaign idea. For my whole other business, my campaign is already rolled out, emails done, everything is done. And I'm just waiting on you. She's like, oh, don't worry. I work quick. I can get this done. Okay. All right. Well, do your thing then. So she ended up um, rolling out these campaign ideas, right? And remember, she said it's supposed to be five. Mind you, we're on the Google Meet. There was no graphics. No graphics. So I don't know if the graphic designer didn't come through. I don't think there ever was graphics. But anyway, there's no graphics. So... Um, she went to say idea one is luxury. This is that. Um, no, my business is not luxury. You obviously didn't. Maybe you need to add more questions to the questionnaire so that you're a little bit more. You can tell she had never worked with a wig business because she didn't even know some of the ideas that she was shooting out. I had heard the ideas before, um, in like one of her free webinars that she gave. She was giving other people ideas. I heard those before. We'll get to that in a minute, but um, so I was like, no, no, not that one. She's like, so scale one to 10, what idea? So she ran through all these ideas and still none of them were like, none of them was like, oh my gosh, I'm super excited. So she's like, I think we should go with this luxury one and like basically turn my whole website into like a freaking luxury hotel or something. And I was like, mm, no, my, my brand ain't luxury. I'm more of an everyday. And so then I broke it down to her and I'm like, listen. We spent an hour on the phone at this point. I'm like, listen, my brand is, you know, I, I create custom glues wigs for women, you know, for the everyday woman, the woman on the go, the woman that don't have time to, you know, spend doing her hair. You know, basically I broke it all down to her and she's like, oh my God. Okay. So I think that, all right, so let me, we didn't go back to the, to the drawing board. So basically give me, um, I'm like drawing board. What the? So anyway, she said, all right, so now that I know this and I have this a better understanding, I wish I would have known this, but I'm just thinking like you, you never asked, nor did you look at my business to see that. But anyway, um, she's like, all right, so I'm going to draft up something. I got good ideas right now while my head is spinning. We get off this call now. Let me jot all this stuff down since you just told me the direction that you're going and we can kind of create like this virtual da da da. I'm like, okay. 30 minutes. She said, give me 30 minutes. I will send a text for you to open your email with the idea. And if that idea is good to go, which I'm pretty sure it will be, then I'll get my graphics designer right on this right now. So I'm like, okay. Got off the phone. 30 minutes, no text, no email. One hour, no text, no email. I'm like, oh, <laughs> another day with nothing done. So then she, uh, the next morning, the next morning I said, okay, I ain't nothing. Should I remind her? My husband's like, no, don't remind her. Just ask for a refund because she know what she promised and told you. All right. 12 o'clock came. I'm still sparing her. Y'all. I'm just, I'm so nice and I'm so patient, but, um, it's just ridiculous. So 12 o'clock came. I said, you know, hello. Um, I waited, I waited last night for a text or email, nothing. Um, at this point, I just need a refund. There's no more days. I cannot wait. No more days. I will just create my own campaign. So she's like, oh, I sent the email out at uh, 40 minutes after we got off the call. I don't got no email. I don't got no text. She couldn't even send me a screenshot. And say, I said, no, no. I said, well, I'm sorry. I don't got it. I said, you didn't even text me to tell me it was sent. No, I don't have it. And I just refund me, please. And she's like, all right, so I'll just go ahead and see your refund too easy. She was probably glad to send me a refund because she probably didn't really want to um, try and figure things out. I don't really know what the case was. Maybe she had somebody working for her to try to create stuff for me and she's waiting on them. Either way, whatever. I said, and when you send me a refund, could you please send me a screenshot of the um, refund that the refund been processed? So she sent me a screenshot of the, you know, that is the process. She immediately sent that refund over. Now it's quick and the email saying that, hey, I'm sorry that we didn't get the word together. Here's a refund. And, you know, you can still feel free to use those ideas in the future. Also, you're still um, able to schedule two calls with me for any future campaigns. No, no, there's nothing else that I need but aside from my refund. I can't, I can't. Like, you know, some people just, 
over promise and under deliver and that is what i feel that she did now uh, you know i'm not saying this to bash her you know she may have delivered for other companies all i am doing in this video is sharing my experience um you know i have several experiences that i don't share because i don't want this to turn into anything negative however I just want other people to be aware. So the whole point of this video is just, you know, make sure you do your research. Make sure you do your research. That is it. Um, if you want to know who it is, I will leave the name in the comment section of this video of who it is, you know, and that's just that. But I, I'm not going to, you know, bash her. I just did not get my services completed by her i got a refund but now mind you on the other side of this um she had created like you know she has an app and she has a community of you know other people and businesses that she work with and you know she shoot her ideas to them and and just do everything so i tried to insert myself into her community and you know kind of um uh like comments and stuff and one of the posts she had said you know everybody drop your business name and i will shoot a campaign idea out to you i'll do all businesses that drop their comment name their business name i dropped my business name do you know and then you know she had like 20 people drop their name um she turned it off she said okay no more i'm only gonna do the ones above me my name was literally above probably number 11 or so um, she started dropping campaigns for each one tagging people. Do you know she did a campaign or she not did a campaign, but she dropped ideas for every company, but my company, I find that real strange. Like you, she didn't draw. And so I brought it to her attention. I said, Hey, I never got my idea, but I know my name is up top. And this was all that this, what I'm talking about happened prior to, um, well, it was like during, I had already paid for the service, the, the go service, but you know, still, I just want to see what free the idea she was going to drop out. She's like, well, you didn't receive what? I'm like, I didn't receive. I said, you know what? Never mind. And at that point, I'm like, why did it's funny? Like, but all the other businesses I noticed, I was like the, really the only wig business. I also noticed that looking through all the other businesses like they had candles they had soap it was like um a party planning company it was a lot of other companies and it was wig companies one was a wig company i didn't notice because she seen me and she was like oh my gosh t i love you you know uh, or um I, I follow you i love your work or something and i also noticed that all the other businesses were very beginner businesses like that didn't really have a following have a following don't mean much but they didn't have like their business was very very fresh very new and they any any ideas or anything that she gave or threw at them like they were super excited and happy for which was great but for me i think she probably looked at my stuff and probably saw that she couldn't just give me no crap which is why she kind of was having a hard time giving me a run around like i don't know like it's so many speculations i can say as to what and why I didn't receive the same type of um, services as some of the other companies she worked with. All I know is just like, if she couldn't have provided the the services for me or whatever it was, she could have just said that, you know? But I don't know. I just, she was, she just wasn't about to get over on me. But that was, that should have been like another red flag right there. Um, what else something else happened and she was like what is your business again i think i asked the question she's like what is your business again i know you know when you are dealing with a lot of companies a lot of um people it can get overwhelming to try to remember them all i don't expect to remember them all but even when i told her you know it was like she never came back to my question she just pretty much like blew me off and was literally answering everybody else's like she had the answers immediate for them but for me maybe it required maybe she didn't have to think for the answer for them because it was stuff that she was recycling and used to telling but for me she didn't have an answer so or she i don't maybe she forgot i don't know but either way it just i i never got anything from her you know um again y'all just i i just say you know my advice from me you, you is just do your research on the people that you choose to work with and make sure that they're in your industry. I think the mistake that I made with choosing to work with her um, was I she I should have looked to see has she worked with a wit business. But even then, though, 
there's like I it's it's some other things that now I feel like my eyes are a little bit more open to okay definitely has she worked with a, a wig company like let me see or let me reach out to that wig company and see you know um how did everything go for her because you know I, I I'm sure I can't be the only one that's been through stuff with her actually I know I have because after I received my refund and I spoke on this situation to someone else someone else said oh yeah I remember a situation where her ha happened and she disappeared and it do seem like when I you know, when she popped up and she caught my attention, it's like she had came from a hiatus, so she was gone. And one thing I do know is the way scammers work is they scam, they get exposed, and then they disappear. And then they come back with something new. And then they scam, and they get exposed, and then they disappear. And they do that cycle over and over and over. They just keep coming up with new stuff, new businesses, new services, or whatever. And they prey on new businesses they prey on you know businesses that they feel they can just tell a quick google answer and that's it um so you know if you're a new business just just pay attention and just know that study a person study how a person asks study how a person responds to you just you know just you know, do your research. Like, you know, you're not going to um, dodge every single bullet when it comes to the decisions you make. Look at myself. Look at where I'm at in my business. And I, you know, I'm still making mistakes. So um, you can just do as much as you can. But um, if things happen, like for me, don't let that, that's not the end all be all for me. Now I just feel like, and know, okay, <laughs> it's gonna take a lot more than somebody just shooting a couple of uh ideas out there like I, I may need to ask them something specific and see if they you know I don't know I don't know guys but anyways I'm not gonna ramble I'm going to end this uh sharing experience uh video I hope this helped you I hope this opened your eyes and I hope that my experience just let you know that we all make mistakes we all you know nothing is perfect you know just learn from every situation and experience that you go through and that's only gonna make you stronger so that's all I have for y'all make sure you hit the subscribe button turn that notification bell on because your girl is coming back stronger with these videos and I will see you in another video bye y'all